Hello and welcome to vlog five. Um, I was just laughing to myself actually because prior to doing this vlog, I've just gone and had a shower. It's like, like you have to get yourself ready because you're going on the telly. Um, I don't know what that was about, but uh, anyway, I'm fresh, I'm clean, and here I am to talk about the weekend that's just gone in the world of my photography. Now, the weekend didn't really pan out as I'd wanted in terms of this vlog. I had a location in mind for Saturday in the north of the county of Oxfordshire and I had a, uh, a location in mind for Sunday. Both were kind of one of, those, one of those trips where you think, I'm hoping I'll get some good photos, but really I just want to go and explore the location and find out a bit more about it. So I had a fairly free weekend, I had my two locations in mind and off I went. The challenges I had were really around the creation of the vlog because on my Canon, which is this camera, I didn't have the right focus set up. So what you'll see is that in a number of the clips that I show, I'm talking at sort of this angle and this area is in focus, whereas now I've got it correct and as I've moved here, it's kept me in focus. So we live and learn, right? And uh, that was a bit of a, of a balls up. But anyway, what I can do is I can talk to you about my two locations that I went to, I can show you the photos that I took, what I learned along the way, and I think that would be more than enough for this, uh, this vlog. So, right, let's go back to Saturday. I was in a small village of Broughton in North Oxfordshire, and there's a castle in Broughton, and I didn't know that until about a week ago, so I thought, hey, everyone loves a castle, let's go exploring, and that's where the vlog picks up. So, that, that is Broughton Castle and although it's kind of kind of grey it's very grey it doesn't get any greyer than today I was kind of hoping that I'd get some nice reflection maybe because I knew this moat existed here and as you can see already there is so I've just managed to get a couple of shots uh, I went low between these grates and then I've got my tripod a little bit higher and uh, just aimed across the water so you know the clouds aren't doing too much in terms of creating any any nice light but um with the reflection it's um potential for a decent photo so you can see what i mean there with the the castle in focus in the background and me not so bit of a beginner error beginner vlogger error there shall we say what was interesting about that um taking the photos of of those views that i had there and as we look at them now, you can see that it's just a nice, simple shot, right? And I read this comment on another YouTube vlog earlier today where this woman made a comment. She said, you're thinking too much like a photographer to someone. And I think that, I think I had a bit of that mindset on Saturday, even as a beginner. I'm like, oh, the light's not quite right, blah, blah, blah. Look, it's a castle. There's a moat. There's a lovely reflection of it. That's just a nice image. So I think I was in danger a bit of getting a bit too sort of compli complicated and caught up in some of the photos that you see on Instagram and and just thinking, look, this is a nice shot, you know, and, and it is a nice shot. And I haven't posted it on Instagram yet because I was kind of looking at it thinking, oh, is it or, or isn't it? And, and you think of your own picture in comparison with others and it's just like, oh, just snap out of that mindset. That's an, that's an Instagram this age of social media mindset, you know, immediately comparing yourself to others, need to knock that on the head quickly. So, so yeah, I, you know, it's a nice picture of a castle, the reflection's really nice. Now, one of the things that I talk about is, what I tried to do was I experimented with different exposures. I thought, even though the moat was fairly still, I wanted to look at trying to do a bit of a longer exposure to see if that would either make the reflection better or whether it would just sort of look the same ultimately. So in this next clip, I pick up how I'm looking at the exposure and, and what happened when I did that. One of the things I just tried to do because I'm learning and I'm, I'm testing is just to create an ex a longer exposure on the last couple of is images that I took. And the first one <laughs> for five seconds, because the clouds are so gray and it's so light, it just, the whole thing was white. So. The two and a half second exposure, it maintained the photo, it, it created a photo. So I'll show you that here. 
and you'll see how it came out. It's always a case of just experimenting and, you know, a little play around, see what works and what, what doesn't. So as you can see here, it was a really nice location. You've got the castle, you've got the moat, there's a, a church round just to the side of it, so this just lovely English countryside setting. There were um, uh, clay pigeon shooters nearby, so you had the sort of sound of the church bells, you had the sound of them firing their guns, and it just it was just a really nice place to be. So I walked up further away from the castle, and I was a little bit confused, because I always thought castles were supposed to be placed at the top of hills, so they could see everything, but this one seemed to be at the foot of a hill. I'm not sure the logic of that. Either way, I walked up and around and was able to explore some other other images from further, uh, much further back from the castle. But that didn't really, didn't really materialise into anything that I really liked as a, as a photo. But it was worth exploring. And it was worth it for the for the walk. So that that kind of um, wrapped up Saturday. It was it was very grey. I managed to get some nice shots in, in terms of the reflection of the castle in the moat. That was all good. I had a nice walk around the grounds. Somewhere that I'd definitely be revisiting and that's um, Broughton Castle in, in the north of Oxfordshire. It's a bit strange because I drive through Oxfordshire, through Northamptonshire and then back into Oxfordshire to get to Broughton. But it's only sort of half an hour away. So definitely a, a place for me to go back and see in the summer. I'm sure it'd be very pretty. Now, on Sunday, I went up uh, just past Junction 6 on the M40. You've got a place called Aston Rowan Nature Reserve. And I, I drive through this this neck of the woods and I knew I wanted to go up and, and get a picture. So I'm gonna show you the kind of beginner bit of video footage I took. It was the only bit of video footage I took up there actually. But you'll see where I was and then I'll show you some of the photos that I took. Welcome to a vlog that wasn't planned. I wanted to explore this location for that reason. That's why. And I knew there'd be a good view because I, I drive down here every single day from my commute to Bicester, which is over there somewhere. I grew up over there somewhere and normally walk over there but um clear day ish thought i'm gonna come up and, and do some exploring so i've got a time lapse set up i've got my camera set up here and um i'm a little bit worried i think there could be a good sunset but the cloud is rolling in from over there and i'm a little bit worried about that but let's see what happens eh so i think as you can see that was like a lovely location it was it was so cold though it's one of those places where you just feel you feel great because you're so you're high up you know you've got the m40 running down below it was really fascinating because the, the southbound part was was literally closed just down because i think of a, of a car or van fire so this lovely trail of lights going all the way back up uh towards sort of like oxford basically so you're up high, you've got the sun setting over to the west, you've got car trails up to the north, you've got the sort of the, the, the you know, the, just the, the noise of the motorway below you. It's just a great place to, to be in and sort of sit for an hour. So I had my time lapse going as you, as you saw, I had some photos, but unfortunately that, that cloud just moved in. And I think cloud often makes a sunset, doesn't it? Because, you know, you do get that light, especially those moments when the sun just drops below the horizon so it's sort of like angled up under the cloud you get this wonderful light but it was so thick uh, after it rolled in that really apart from this very thin sort of red line in the distance there really wasn't much and I think actually sunsets and sunrises can be quite difficult to photograph anyway so it, i think it's a skill it really is a skill getting them right never mind i really like the time lapse i like just being up there for an hour there were quite a few people walking about so it kind of put me off a bit in, in terms of carrying on and doing some more videos in in the vlog it's a bit silly but i guess i'm at that phase where i like to be quiet nobody around and then i can just talk away to the camera but when there are people sort of walking past in different directions 
not only is it off-putting, it's a bit distracting as well. So um, I didn't really, I think there'd have been a lot of like um and ahs and sort of like maybe sort of eyes all over the place. So never mind. So looking back at that weekend, lots of, lots of uh, learning points, I guess. The video footage I was so disappointed with when I got back and looked at it. I thought, how on earth can you record a footage for a vlog and not have you in focus? And that wouldn't matter so much if it had been me in focus, out of focus for just a little bit, but for every single clip, it's a bit of a problem. But you know, I've learned from that, so let's, let's, let's not dwell on it too much, really. And, um, you know, the photos at Broughton Castle were cool. It was a good place to visit. It's a place that, you know, I expect I'll go back to. It looks amazing in the summer with all the, all the greenery on the trees and there were just tons of really ancient trees there, just fascinating. So that'll be a location to go back to. I'm glad I explored that. I got a couple of nice pictures. I had a, had a walk there for like, you know, I was there for an hour and a half, two hours. So that was good. On Sunday, hopes of a sunset, a new location. I've never walked up to that, uh, that area before, even though it's kind of right on the doorstep. So nice to go up there for the first time. Nice to watch that little bit of a sunset and just take in, as I say, the hustle and bustle of the M40. It's a nice contrast between, you know, the busyness of the M40 and then you're just on this quiet hill and then in the back in the distance there are you know there's just quiet fields and and no real sort of contrast there as I said so that was a nice location a couple of nice shots loved the shots actually a couple of the shots I got on my mobile phone were better than the ones I got on my DSLR but I think that's um that might be the case for Saturday as well it's kind of a bit frustrating when that happens but never mind so yeah just an interesting weekend nice to get out couple of walks, few photos, learnt a bit about vlogging and, and, and you know, photography in, in, um, in amongst that as well. So all good, all good. And I think not overcomplicating this whole, you know, learning about photography. I think that's my real key takeaway message for this vlog. Having done a bit of social media sort of management and now using it for photography, I definitely see how people get affected by social media. You know, I have taken up photography, so naturally I'm following lots of photographers, some who are m way, way more advanced than I am and probably ever will be. So you suddenly start to look at their photos and you've got your photos and you don't fight, you don't quite feel, you feel, you feel like your images are bad. But actually what I wanna do is stay true to myself and say, if I like that picture, it's being posted. And that's the way I've operated because I want people to follow me who like the same things that I do, basically. So if I like it, I'm going to post it. I'm not going to overthink about whether it's the best image or whether uh, it compares with others. I'm not. I'm just going to nip that in the bud. And it's the same for this vlog. I can look at people who have been vlogging for two years, three years, and compare myself with them, but actually I'm on vlog five, so I'm not gonna worry too much. My point of this vlog is to show you what I've been up to, what I've learned, and uh, and just have fun, really. So that's my key message to anyone who's in a similar situation as I am with those things at the moment. Let's just share and do things we enjoy doing. Thank you again for watching. Please give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, bye-bye.